Recently, I had the opportunity to visit Curbstone 51 at Douth, which is also eloquently known as the Stone of the Seven Sons, a name given to it by the uh, writer and artist Martin Brennan. It is one of the most beautiful and indeed well-known Neolithic carvings from ancient Ireland and is located on the eastern side of the Great Curb around the Cairn of Douth. Douth is one of the three great megalithic monuments of Brunebonia, dating to more than 5,000 years ago. It contains what appear to be a series of suns or stars with rays coming out from a circular centre and with six out of the seven uh, contained within circles. Now various attempts have been made to explain the meaning of these symbols. Some say they are representations of the sun at different times of the year. Others say they might represent celestial bodies such as comets. Others still suggest that they are representations of a solar eclipse. In the mythology uh, of Douth, the story about how it was built reveals an ancient astronomical symbolism which may help to explain something about the meaning of the place of darkness. Douth is from the Irish Dua, meaning darkness. The story comes from the Dinshanicus, a collection of ancient stories about Irish place names and concerns Bressel Bodibad, who was the ruler of the time. There was a cattle famine that happened and he brought all the men of Ireland together to build a tower from which he could pass to heaven. And Bressel's sister stopped the sun from moving in the sky so that there would be no night but endless day until the work reached completion. However, they committed incest and as a result of this the spell was broken and a sudden darkness came upon their work. Hence the name Duod or Darkness. Given that there are seven sons on Curb 51 and that the myth of Douth speaks of a bull and seven cows, it seems possible that the site has some connection with the constellation of Taurus the Bull, which contains the open cluster, the Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters. This constellation was very important at the time leading up to the construction of the Boyne Valley Mounds, as it contained the sun on the spring equinox, that very important moment of the year when the sun's path along the ecliptic crossed the celestial equator heading north. Another interesting phenomenon which occurs at this time is known to astronomers as the heliacal rising of the Pleiades. This happened when the stars in question rise at the eastern horizon but are quickly lost in the glare of the rising sun. It is interesting to note that the Egyptians and the Dogon tribe in Africa, among others, used the same sun wheel symbol to signify a heliacal rising.